If the last few years has taught us anything, it's that you need a good webcam, and there's a lot of solutions on the market today. You have built-in webcams, you have standalone webcams, and you even have complicated setups that involve plugging in a huge camera so you can look presentable on your Zoom call. And while there's many solutions to this problem, they're all kind of compromised in some way. The built-in webcams look, well, I'll just say it, kind of crappy. Standalone webcams often look cheap and ugly and still sometimes have really poor image quality. And anyone hooking up a $2,000 high-end camera to take a simple video call is probably a tech YouTuber like me. But what if I told you there's a sweet spot in the middle ground for a camera that's easy to hook up, has good video quality, and looks great while doing it, and comes packed with free software features that give you access to powerful effects. Well, when Apple reached out to me to partner with them and try out their new Apple C1 webcam, a webcam pitched at solving a lot of these issues, I was honestly a little skeptical at first, given my experiences with prior webcams, but what I found might just be the best mix of features anywhere on the market. Because as soon as I looked at the box, I knew I was in for something special. If reviewing tech products has taught me anything, it's that great packaging usually means a company that cares about how their product looks. And as soon as I lifted the lid, I was greeted by what I think is the best looking webcam I have ever seen. The build quality is fantastic too. It's made mostly from machined aluminum, has these evenly placed speaker grills for a cool look, comes in either white or black, and comes with this ingenious magnetic cover that is easy to put on and off. So that's not only great for when you're traveling so you can protect the camera lens, but it's also great for privacy. And the webcam, it's pretty small, so it's easy to throw in a bag, and it also comes with an included mount that is really versatile, so it's flexible enough to be secured on something as thin as a MacBook lid or on top of a thicker device like an external monitor like my studio display. It can also be propped up freely on this mount, and because the Opal C1 uses a standard tripod mounting solution, you can easily mount it on a tripod as well. And to bring the simplicity of this design full circle, it just has a single USB-C cable to connect to your computer, and the hookup is so easy and the mount is so well balanced that you can even walk around with it while it's still attached to the MacBook lid without fear of it falling off. And the plug and play setup makes it especially good for traveling setups. And I really appreciate that it's a corded USB-C cable, which again, just makes it so much easier for that neat look when you have this webcam connected. Listen, I, I know I spent a lot of time on the design of this little webcam, but one thing I absolutely hate being a Mac user is I buy products which I think are designed beautifully. Like the studio display, I think it's a beautiful monitor. The MacBook, I think is a beautiful laptop. So when I go to hook up an accessory like a third party webcam, it often looks like garbage, but that is not a problem with the Opal C1. It looks like it was designed for people that care about design and it looks like it belongs on my desk it is something that I want to display, but it doesn't matter how good it looks if the video quality is bad. So how does a $250 webcam look? Well, you're looking right at it. This is recording on the Apple C1 and I think it looks surprisingly good. One of the things that really blew me away is the tech in this webcam. The Opal C1 has an F1.8 six element glass lens, which Opal says will bring in 2.4 times more light than any other webcam. It also has a bigger Sony image sensor than a traditional webcam that can capture 4K video. But I think the real trick to this webcam's footage is that it is using a lot of the same computational photography tricks that we love from our smartphones to produce exceptional video quality. And you can see just how well the Opal is able to light up my face without any other external lighting, and details from this image are retained even in the darker areas of the image. It also does well in a lot of different lighting situations. Here it is set up with my studio lighting, this time it's only being lit up by the ceiling lights, and here it is only being lit up with natural light. Okay, that all sounds good, but how does it compare to the other solutions that you might be using? Well, if we compare it against something like the MacBook Air webcam, you can see that the image quality you are getting out of the Opal C1 compared to the MacBook is pretty sharp, right? The MacBook only has a resolution of 1080p for the camera, and the Opal C1 is using a 4K image sensor. And you can really see the MacBook trying to compensate for that lower resolution by using a lot of processing tricks, 
which just results usually in more grainy images and noisy images. The Apple obviously has a cleaner image quality, and you can especially notice way more detail in my face, and the background in the Apple just allows in much more light than the MacBook webcam, and you can actually see the detail in the background without it getting overly noisy. You'll also notice how much better the Opal is when using like extreme lighting scenarios like this one. I think this shot looks much more like cinematic and you can see like having like a backlight like this is pretty challenging, but the Opal C1 just handles it beautifully. And I like the exposure on this much better than the built-in webcam, which just looks way too flat to me. If we compare it against my $3,500 Sony mirrorless camera, it's a bit of an unfair comparison and I wouldn't expect a $250 webcam to match up to a professional camera. And while it's not as good as the image quality you can get out of a professional camera, I think the image holds up pretty well. And while the C1 won't hold up completely in image quality to a bigger DSLR, it is able to give you that DSLR mirrorless camera look with the amount of natural bokeh you can get out of the Opal C1 because of its f1.8 lens. The biggest difference this webcam made to me is when I compared it to the built-in monitor camera from my studio display. This one is a night and day difference when it comes to resolution and detail. The Opal provides more detail, and my favorite feature from the studio display is the center stage feature, which guess what, is also kind of available on the Opal C1 because it has a phase lock feature. When you enable this feature through the Opal Composer, a free companion app, the camera will stay locked onto your face as you move around, and the camera will track and follow your movements all through software without the need for a physical moving part. It's really cool and looks so much better on the Opal C1 than it does on my studio display. Now, what really separates the Opal C1 from all the other solutions doesn't have anything to do with the hardware. And don't get me wrong, this is really good hardware, but strangely enough, what really separates it for me is the software. Yeah, usually from webcam companies, you can expect the software to be a frustrating experience, with you usually having to dig through settings in a very poorly designed app. But the Opal Composer app is actually pleasant to use and has a bunch of customization and some fun features on top of it. This is a completely free app from Opal. It does not require any sort of subscription cost, and it just goes to add a lot of value into this camera. So you can control from here how much bokeh you want in the image, which is super useful. You can zoom in on the camera lens, which helps with uh, framing shots, and you can even do the focus distancing yourself if you want to, if you want to purposely set up kind of like a more manual shot and not rely on a lot of the auto settings. Using this manual control, I was able to tweak the webcam preferences to my own personal style and I got a picture I liked a lot better by tuning things like exposure and the focusing distance. And that goes for like almost anything. You can change the white balance, the tint, the color temperature, the exposure, the highlights, the shadows, and the contrast and saturation. Like if you want to play around with this, you could probably find camera settings that you like more than what is offered on the default out of the box experience, or just customize a look for the certain mood you want to present on your calls. There's also some fun presets here for like a presenter mode, uh, customizable stickers, as well as text placement and easy background replacements. You just don't see this amount of software quality when it comes to webcams. And this is a rare exception where Opal just knocked it out of the park. And it is a genuine selling point to this webcam. It is not just the great hardware in it, it's also the great software. And if you're like me and you value not only a good looking webcam, a sharp looking webcam in more ways than one, it looks good and has a good 4K image resolution, right? Well, you need to check out the link in the description so you can pick up your own Opal C1. And thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care everyone.